Thanks for tuning in and welcome back to the shop. This floor is about to grow some legs. In order to lift this camper off of the truck, I'm installing four electric lift jacks, one in each corner. You may remember that the back corner of the box tube is left open and about 12 inches forward I have a section of pipe. That's where the jacks will be going in, but I need to build a structure to mount the jacks on that will slide into that hole. And that's where this piece of four inch channel and plate come together. Step one, I need to make this into one piece. The reason for making these mounts out of this large channel is to help give a wider stance to the legs, which will not only help in stability, but also give me a bit more maneuvering while driving the truck under the camper. You'll notice I've cut a saw groove along where I'm welding. This is to help get the weld to penetrate deeper into the material and let the weld be more flush with the surface. Now that the channel is welded to the plate, my next step is to insert a piece of box tube through one end, through the channel and the plate, and a piece of pipe 12 inches away to line up with the pipe on the side of the truck. The only issue is this is two inch box tube, which is the same as what is in the framing of the truck. This needs to be inch and three quarter. So now I need to cut down two sides of the box tube and shrink this from two inches outside to inch and three quarters. To help me do this quickly and repeatably, I've made a very small steel jig that simply clamps onto the box tube so that I can repeat the depth of the cut on this side, on the opposite corner, and repeat it again on the follow-up pieces. If you're interested in how I'm cutting aluminum with a cordless saw, check out this video. I'll use some of the original box tube to hold it in the right size and shape while I weld it back together. Don't forget, if you are an Amazon shopper, I'd really appreciate if you click through one of my Amazon links in the video description before you do your shopping. No matter what you buy, if you check out within 24 hours, you'll be helping support this channel and it doesn't cost you anything. to grind it all back off again. So now that I've got the square notch cut out of the one end, I can insert the smaller box tube, which is inch and three quarter by inch and three quarter. That's gonna get welded in around there. And I have a section of pipe that's 12 inches away, goes through both sides. So these will both get tacked in place and then I'll do a test fit and then they'll get fully welded. Welding aluminum can be pretty tricky, but once you get the hang of it, it's pretty rewarding. There are a lot of different aluminum alloys and it's important that you know which ones you're trying to stick together. Here is what I'm using.
small diameter pipe is still a bit of a challenge for me, but I'm getting there. With the box tube and the pipe welded in place, this will now slide into the side of the camper floor. And now we can mount the trailer jacks. For the sake of the video, wouldn't it be easier if that was just already done? The jacks are simply bolted to the side of the plate that is welded to the channel. I know what you're thinking next. There's no way those are going to reach the ground. And you'd be right. So I've made some extensions. These are about 32 inches long, and I'm just going to unbolt the wheel and bolt the leg in place. Now for the sake of the video, wouldn't it be easier if that was already done? Oh hey look, there's even a battery connected, so we can try it out. Now obviously right now I only have one corner of the truck set up, but this will give you an idea of how easy it's going to be to lift this off once the system is complete. All I have to do right now is push the button to lift, the leg goes down, and the camper box starts coming up. Hope you enjoyed that video. Give us a like if you did. Throw a comment down below if you got any questions and share the video if you think it'll help someone. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.